Subtraction is an arithmetic operation that represents the operation of removing objects from a collection. The result of a subtraction is called a difference. Subtraction is signified by the minus sign. For example, in the adjacent picture, there are five two apples, meaning five apples with two taken away, resulting in a total of three apples. Therefore, the difference of five and two is three, that is, five two is equal to three. While primarily associated with natural numbers in arithmetic, subtraction can also represent removing or decreasing physical and abstract quantities using different kinds of objects including negative numbers, fractions, irrational numbers, vectors, decimals, functions, and matrices. Subtraction follows several important patterns. It is anti-commutative, meaning that changing the order changes the sign of the answer. It is also not associative, meaning that when one subtracts more than two numbers, the order in which subtraction is performed matters. Because zero is the additive identity, subtraction of it does not change a number. Subtraction also obeys predictable rules concerning related operations, such as addition and multiplication. All of these rules can be proven, starting with the subtraction of integers and generalizing up through the real numbers and beyond. General binary operations that follow these patterns are studied in abstract algebra. Performing subtraction on natural numbers is one of the simplest numerical tasks. Subtraction of very small numbers is accessible to young children. In primary education, for instance, students are taught to subtract numbers in the decimal system, starting with single digits and progressively tackling more difficult problems. In advanced algebra and in computer algebra, an expression involving subtraction like a B is generally treated as a shorthand notation for the addition A plus B. Thus, a B contains two terms, namely A and B. This allows an easier use of associativity and commutativity. Subtraction is usually written using the minus sign between the terms, that is, in infix notation. The result is expressed with an equal sign. For example, 2, 1, equals 1. Backslash display style 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Pronounced as 2 minus 1 equals 1. 4, 2, equals 2, backslash display style 4 minus 2 is equal to 2, pronounced as 4 minus 2 equals 2, 6, 3, equals 3, backslash display style 6 minus 3 is equal to 3, pronounced as 6 minus 3 equals 3, 4, 6, equals 2, Backslash display style 4 minus 6 is equal to minus 2. Pronounced as 4 minus 6 equals negative 2. There are also situations where subtraction is understood, even though no symbol appears. A column of two numbers, with the lower number in red, usually indicates that the lower number in the column is to be subtracted, with a difference written below, under a line. This is most common in accounting. Formally, the number being subtracted is known as the subtrahend, while the number it is subtracted from is the minuend. The result is the difference. All of this terminology derives from Latin. Subtraction is an English word derived from the Latin verb subtraher, which in turn is a compound of sub from under and trahere to pull. Thus, to subtract is to draw from below, or to take away. Using the gerundive suffix nd results in subtrahend, thing to be subtracted. Likewise, from minuere to reduce or diminish, one gets minuend, which means thing to be diminished. Imagine a line segment of length B with the left end labeled A and the right end labeled C. Starting from A, it takes B steps to the right to reach C. This movement to the right is modeled mathematically by addition. A plus B equals C dot from C, it takes B steps to the left to get back to A. This movement to the left is modeled by subtraction. CB equals A. Now, a line segment labeled with the numbers 1, 2, and 3. From position 3, it takes no steps to the left to stay at 3, so 3 0 is equal to 3. It takes two steps to the left to get to position 1, so 3 2 is equal to 1. This picture is inadequate to describe what would happen after going three steps to the left of position 3. To represent such an operation, the line must be extended. To subtract arbitrary natural numbers, one begins with a line containing every natural number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. From 3, it takes 3 steps to the left to get to 0, so 3 3 is equal to 0. But 3 4 is still invalid, since it again leaves the line. The natural numbers are not a useful context for subtraction. 
the solution is to consider the integer number line 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. This way, it takes 4 steps to the left from 3 to get to 1. 3, 4 equals 1. Subtraction of natural numbers is not closed. The difference is not a natural number unless the minuend is greater than or equal to the subtrahend. For example, 26 cannot be subtracted from 11 to give a natural number. Such a case uses one of two approaches. Conclude that 26 cannot be subtracted from 11, subtraction becomes a partial function. Give the answer as an integer representing a negative number, so the result of subtracting 26 from 11 is 15. Subtraction of real numbers is defined as addition of signed numbers. Specifically, a number is subtracted by adding its additive inverse, as in the case of 3 pi equals 3 plus pi. This helps to keep the ring of real numbers simple, by avoiding the introduction of new operators such as subtraction. Ordinarily, a ring only has two operations defined on it. In the case of the integers, these are addition and multiplication. A ring already has the concept of additive inverses, but it does not have any notion of a separate subtraction operation, so the use of signed addition as subtraction allows for the application of the ring axioms to subtraction, without needing to prove anything. Subtraction is anti-commutative, meaning that if one reverses the terms in a difference left to right, the result is the negative of the original result. Symbolically, if A and B are any two numbers, then A B equals B A. Subtraction is non-associative which comes up when one tries to define repeated subtraction. In general, the expression a b c can be defined to mean either a b c or a b c, but these two possibilities lead to different answers. To resolve this issue, one must establish an order of operations, with different orders yielding different results. In the context of integers, subtraction of one also plays a special role. For any integer a, the integer a1 is the largest integer less than a also known as the predecessor of a. When subtracting two numbers with units of measurements such as kilograms or pounds, they must have the same unit. In most cases, the difference will have the same unit as the original numbers. Changes in percentages can be reported in at least two forms, percentage change and percentage point change. Percentage change represents the relative change between the two quantities as a percentage, while percentage point change is simply the number obtained by subtracting the two percentages. As an example, suppose that 30% of widgets made in a factory are defective. Six months later, 20% of widgets are defective. The percentage change is 20% 30% slash 30% equals 1 slash 3 equals 33 plus 1 slash 3%, while the percentage point change is 10 percentage points. The method of complements is a technique used to subtract one number from another using only addition of positive numbers. This method was commonly used in mechanical calculators and is still used in modern computers. To subtract a binary number y, the subtrahend, from another number x, the minuend, the one's complement of y is added to x and one is added to the sum. The leading digit one of the result is then discarded. The method of complements is especially useful in binary, radix 2 since the 1's complement is very easily obtained by inverting each bit, changing 0 to 1 and vice versa. And adding 1 to get the 2's complement can be done by simulating a carry into the least significant bit. For example, 01100100 x equals decimal 100. 00010110 y equals decimal 22. Becomes the sum. 01100100 Plus one 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 zero one zero zero one one's complement of y plus one to get the two's complement one zero one zero zero one 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 zero dropping the initial one gives the answer zero one zero zero one 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 zero equals decimal seventy eight methods used to teach subtraction to elementary school vary from country to country and within a country different methods are adopted at different times in what is known in the United States as traditional mathematics. A specific process is taught to students at the end of the first year, or during the second year, for use with multi-digit whole numbers, and is extended in either the fourth or fifth grade to include decimal representations of fractional numbers. Almost all American schools currently teach a method of subtraction using borrowing or regrouping, the decomposition algorithm, and a system of markings called crutches. Although a method of borrowing had been known and published in textbooks previously, 
the use of crutches in American schools spread after William A. Brownell published a study, claiming that crutches were beneficial to students using this method. This system caught on rapidly, displacing the other methods of subtraction in use in America at that time. Some European schools employ a method of subtraction called the Austrian method, also known as the additions method. There is no borrowing in this method. There are also crutches, markings to aid memory, which vary by country. Both these methods break up the subtraction as a process of one-digit subtractions by place value. Starting with the least significant digit, a subtraction of subtrahend. SJSJ1, S1 from Minuend. MKMK1. N1 where each SI and me is a digit, proceeds by writing down N1 S1, N2 S2, and so forth, as long as SI does not exceed me. Otherwise, me is increased by 10 and some other digit is modified to correct for this increase. The American method corrects by attempting to decrease the menu and digit me plus 1 by 1, or continuing the borrow leftwards until there is a non-zero digit from which to borrow. The European method corrects by increasing the subtrahend digit SI plus 1 by 1. Example, 704-512. 1. C. D. U. 7. 0. 4. 5. 1. 2. 1. 9. 2. C. K. R. R. Y. M. I. N. U. E. N. D. S. U. B. T. R. K. H. E. N. D. R. E. S. T. O. R. D. I. F. F. E. R. E. N. C. E. Backslash display style backslash beginner ARRRR and backslash color red dash one backslash backslash and C and D and U backslash backslash and seven and zero and four backslash backslash and five and one and two backslash 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 line and one and nine and two backslash 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 and array backslash beginner L backslash color red backslash long golf tarot backslash R and carry backslash 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 long golf tarot backslash backslash rn menu and backslash 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 long golf tarot backslash backslash rn subtrain head backslash 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 long golf tarot backslash rn rest backslash or backslash difference backslash 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 and array the menu end is 704 the subtrain head is 512 the menu end digits are n3 equals 7 n2 equals 0 and n1 equals 4 the subtrain head digits are s3 equals 5 S2 equals 1 and S1 equals 2. Beginning at the ones place, 4 is not less than 2 so the difference 2 is written down in the results ones place. In the tens place, 0 is less than 1, so the 0 is increased by 10, and the difference with 1, which is 9, is written down in the tens place. The American method corrects for the increase of 10 by reducing the digit in the menu ends hundreds place by 1. That is, the 7 is struck through and replaced by a 6. The subtraction then proceeds in the hundreds place, where 6 is not less than 5, so the difference is written down in the results hundreds place. We are now done, the result is 192. The Austrian method does not reduce the 7 to 6. Rather it increases the subtrahend hundreds digit by 1. A small mark is made near or below this digit, depending on the school. Then the subtraction proceeds by asking what number when increased by 1, and 5 is added to it, makes 7. The answer is 1, and is written down in the results hundreds place. There is an additional subtlety in that the student always employs a mental subtraction table in the American method. The Austrian method often encourages the student to mentally use the addition table in reverse. In the example above, rather than adding 1 to 5, getting 6, and subtracting that from 7, the student is asked to consider what number, when increased by 1, and 5 is added to it, makes 7. Example. Example. In this method, each digit of the subtrahend is subtracted from the digit above it starting from right to left. If the top number is too small to subtract the bottom number from it, we add 10 to it. This 10 is borrowed from the top digit to the left, which we subtract 1 from. 
Then we move on to subtracting the next digit and borrowing is needed until every digit has been subtracted. Example A variant of the American method where all borrowing is done before all subtraction. Example The partial differences method is different from other vertical subtraction methods because no borrowing or carrying takes place. In their place, one places plus or minus signs depending on whether the menu end is greater or smaller than the subtrahend. The sum of the partial differences is the total difference. Example Instead of finding the difference digit by digit, one can count up the numbers between the subtrahend and the menu end. Example 12, 34, 567 equals can be found by the following steps 567 plus 3 is equal to 570. 570 plus 30 is equal to 600. 600 plus 400 is equal to 1000. 1000 plus 234 equals 1234. Add up the value from each step to get the total difference. 3 plus 30 plus 400 plus 234 is equal to 667. Another method that is useful for mental arithmetic is to split up the subtraction into small steps. Example. 12, 34, 567 equals can be solved in the following way. 12, 34, 500 is equal to 734. 734, 60 is equal to 674. 674, 7 is equal to 667. The same change method uses the fact that adding or subtracting the same number from the menu end in subtrahend does not change the answer. One simply adds the amount needed to get zeros in the subtrahend. Example. 12, 34, 567 equals can be solved as follows. 12, 34, 567 is equal to 1,237. 570 is equal to 1,267. 600 is equal to 667. Brownell, W.A., 1939. Learning is Reorganization, an experimental study in third grade arithmetic, Duke University Press. Subtraction in the United States. An Historical Perspective, Susan Ross, Mary Pratt Cotter, The Mathematics Educator, Volume 8, Number 1, Original Publication, and Volume 10, Number 1, Reprint. PDF.